In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use the one-click spider. And this is the new edition in April 2017, which will make finding LSI theme words and phrases so much easier. You can, of course, use the old method if you want to, but the one-click spider, I think, is going to be the tool of choice going forward. So let's have a look. On the spider screen, you've got two options, the one-click spider or the manual system. As I said before, the manual system is the one that Web Content Studio has used up until this point. The one-click spider is so much easier because it will do everything for you. Some of the settings for this are the same as the manual. So, for example, you can base your results on the top 10 is the default, top 10 pages in Google. You can also load in a URL list to use instead if you want to spider specific URLs to collect theme words and phrases from. The words on a page the default is probably around about 1200. You can put more if you want to, but to be honest, in my testing, after you get beyond about 1200, 1500, you don't really find any new words and phrases on the page. The important ones are all in the first section of the page. Obviously, the one thing you should be aware of is that the more words per page you analyze, the longer the analysis will go. But if you're not in any hurry, it doesn't matter. So, for example, if I increase that from 1200 to 1500, then that's 300 words per page more. 10 pages, 300, that's an extra 3000 words that are going to have to be analyzed in the analysis. 1200 is a good number to start with and then you can see whether you're getting what you want. Timeout, you can leave that all together. That really is something I might even remove from the spider screen because it's the timeout or the line if you try to if the spider tries to access a web page and it can't access it for a given length of time then it times out and it just returns to the to the spider to say that that page is unreachable for whatever reason. I think five seconds is enough for that and I don't have any problems with it. Clear cache is another button which is new and that is something that you may want to use periodically. It will just clear the Internet Explorer cache, which sometimes when you do an analysis, it downloads pages. Then when you rerun the spider, it will use the cached pages rather than re-download them afresh. So clear cache if you want to. Again, it's not essential. OK, with the one click spider, we've also got spider method and there's three spider methods and each of these will work for certain pages, maybe, but maybe not some others. Some page, some some spiders like number three seems to be the most reliable for me. But even so, there are sometimes occasions where a page is unreachable. Spider one, spider two use different methods. So if you find that one one of these particular spiders doesn't work for you, just flick on to one of the other ones and try. Over time, I will probably remove the options and just pick the one that is working for everybody. But I need a little bit of feedback on that. For now, I recommend you select spider number three and detail level, a good number to start with is level three. Now, the detail level basically is how deep do you want the spider to go into the pages to return keywords on its highest level, which is this XX, it could return hundreds of words on the lowest level. You're probably talking about 30 words and, you know, a dozen phrases or so on. In fact, I did run this as a test just to see, and I based it on 1,500 words, so words per page 1,500, and on level one, the theme words returned were 28 theme words. These will be the most important 28 theme words. On level three, it returned 72. On level five, it returned 310. And on the XX level, which is really just for anyone who wants to do a little bit of research, that returns 729 theme words. But a lot of those are going to be irrelevant. They're not going to be as important. But you'll see how this works as we go through this lecture. You'll notice that the theme phrases for each of these levels are the same. And that's because the theme phrases, in order to be counted as a theme phrase, it has to appear on at least two of the top 10 pages. And obviously, the spiders at all levels are going to find the same theme phrases. The theme words they, depending on the setting, they might only have to appear on four of the top 10 pages or five of the top 10 pages or they must appear on six of the top 10 pages or whatever. So you're going to get different levels of theme words. Theme phrases are pretty consistent. But then when you come to write your content, the theme phrases aren't really as important anyway because theme phrases, after all, are only made up of theme words and it's more important to get the words on there. So let's start off with a detail level of three, 1200 words per page. And I'm going to type in a root phrase, Manuka honey. Now, I know this is going to cause me a problem and I'll show you why, but I'm doing it on purpose because I want to show you what you can do and what you can find out when pages are unreachable. So the first stage is the top 10 are being downloaded. 
Okay, and it tells me here, warning, one page unreachable. Don't worry if you get that. If you want to make sure you're getting 10 pages spidered and you do get that, then try one of the other spider methods. See if that will return all 10. Otherwise, just increase the base on top to 11. So you're actually spidering 11 pages and not the 10 because one of them is unreachable. Or you can find out what page that is, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and just add the domain part to the temporary ignore list and then that page will be ignored the next time you run the spider. But let's just wait. It's analyzing theme words, two word phrases, three word phrases and four word phrases. And there we are, that's it. That's the analysis done. Over on the right hand side, you can see that we've got theme words and the number after it is the number of pages in the top 10 that theme word has appeared on. And by looking at that, it looks like actually one of the pages was not relevant because if it doesn't have Manuka Honey on, then what's it doing in the top 10? Or it wasn't reachable, but it wasn't reported by the software. So it looks like we've got Honey on 8, Manuka on 8. As you can see, they're ordered by the number of pages they appear on in the top 10. The numbers at the top, sorry, the, the words at the top are obviously a lot more important. Some words you may think, well, that's not a theme word. It's never going to be a theme word. So, for example, you might think, I don't know, high. You might think high is not a word that you're ever going to want to use and you can add that to the ignore list. So you can have a look at the ignore list in one of the other lectures in this course. Over on the right hand side you can see we've got the theme phrases. So Manuka Honey is the most popular theme phrase appearing on eight of the top ten. New Zealand, obviously Manuka Honey coming from New Zealand is also really important. We've got unique Manuka and Manuka factor. In fact that is all part of this longer phrase unique Manuka factor. But you can see that the spider does a pretty good job. Down the bottom here you can see we've got 30 theme words returned and 27 phrases. If you go in here and you edit any of these, let's say I'm going to get rid of B because we've got Bs, then you'll see that the number drops down to 29. We can actually delete en masse if we only want those words that appear on at least 6 of the top 10 pages and then we're down to 13. We've got a few options here but we're going to leave those for a moment. I want to go over to the URL titles and you can see that this one that says no title, that would be the one that was unspiderable. And I want to show you why it was unspiderable. I've got the actual URL here on the unreachable sites. And if I paste that into my browser, you can see bad title. And the reason is that this section of the URL is actually a code. And it's a code for an A with a funny character over the top. If I type in Manuka Honey, you can see this. Okay, there's that little character. It's an A with a line over the top and, and the keyword spider failed on that. If you get instances like this where you get a code and it's not, it doesn't allow the spider to work, send them to me. Send me the code, send me the whole URL and I will try to fix it so that the software can work with those URLs. Now I'm going to leave you to play with this a little bit more. You can increase the words on the page if you want to get a few more keywords, but let's just increase this to level 5. Now level 5 is more in depth and it will bring back more words and phrases. If you remember the level 3 brought back 30 words and 27 phrases. Again we've got that one unreachable page which I should be able to fix now I know what the code is but for now it's going to be working on 9 pages and I'm going to pause the video until it's finished. Okay, and that's just finished. And you can see now on level five, we've got 119 words and 27 phrases. A lot of these words are going to appear on a lot fewer pages. So it's up to you to decide that page there or that word there, symptoms only appears on three of the top 10 pages. In fact, it's three of the top nine because one page wasn't spidered. Only appears on three of the top nine pages. Therefore, is it imp enough, important enough to include? I should just say as well, I've just thought another reason why sometimes you might get, in this case, we've got eight and yet there's only one unreachable page. So what's happened to the tenth page? Sometimes web pages, they block spiders. And so what the software may have returned, is rather than an error that it couldn't be reached, it could have returned a page where it said, sorry, but we've blocked you because you're a spider. And so that would take that page out of the analysis. Obviously, it's not going to have any Manuka Honey um, themed words in there. For me, when I'm doing theming of an article, I don't want those words and phrases that don't appear as often. So I would, in this case, because we're dealing with probably eight pages, I would probably say, well, they've got to appear on at least the top five. So I would just go down, delete anything that didn't appear on at least the top five, 
and be left here in this case with 33 and then just go through and check to see if there's any that I want to remove. Over on the right hand side again we can see the theme phrases and you can edit these in the same way so you might want to delete some of these. These numbers are less important so for example found in the nectar is only found on two pages effects of manuka honey only found on two, UMF antibacterial property only found on two. That doesn't mean it's unimportant because theme phrases are often worded in different ways. So it might somebody another web page might have said the UMF um, the UMF factor for antibacterial properties or something or UMF anti antibacterial properties instead. And so different themes can be made up in different ways and therefore the most important thing about the theme phrases is the idea it's conveying. So the UMF factor in Manuka honey and its antibacterial properties is an important concept to include in your article. So what can you do then with this list? You can add them to an article. Now as you can see at the moment save to article is greyed out. That's because in my web content studio I haven't opened an article or created a new one. As soon as I do let's create a new article and I'm going to just create it in a test folder and I'm going to call this, let me just drag that in, Manuka Honey and let's just open it. Okay, now that I've got that open, if I open up my LSI keywords again, you can see I've now got the save to article button. What that will do is it will strip the numbers and add them to the theme words and the theme phrases section of the editor, which we'll see in a moment. The other thing you can do is you can save these lists to a file. And in order to save them to a file, you don't have to have an article open. So you may not want to open an article or create a new article. You might just want to create keyword lists to send to a writer or something. And you've got two options. You can save them as a comma delimited file. So let's just let's just do that. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to just bear with me for a moment because I'm on my other computer screen. And then let me open it. Okay, and here is the list. And all it's done is it's taken the words and comma delimited them. So they're all separated by, separated by a comma. And then you've also got the phrases included as well. That's what the comma delimited file looks like. You can also copy it to the clipboard. So if I copy that to the clipboard and you can then paste it into any other application. So I can paste it into a text file here for example. The other type of file you can do is not comma delimited and I won't save it to a file. I'll just copy it to the clipboard and then you can see what it looks like. Let me just delete that. That was the previous one and then I'll paste it. And so now you've got theme words and phrases separated. So we've got theme words there we go, the list of theme words, theme phrases, and therefore your list of theme phrases there. That one might be better for a writer if you're hiring writers to do your content for you. Okay, now that I've shown you that, once you've copied to the clipboard and saved, you can see that the numbers have also disappeared as well. But that number removal will be done if you click on the Save to Article. I'm going to click on Save to Article, and now you can see in this article, we've now got the theme words and phrases in there and ready to be used. So that's the one click spider. I think that it is comprehensive enough and detailed enough to allow you to use that all the time. So I personally won't be using the manual method for very many purposes. I do have one or two ways in which I will use it but in general article writing I'm only going to be using the one click and I suggest that that's probably the best way for you to go to. And in terms of which level, well, level five is obviously the most detailed. And, and if you've got a little bit more time just to sort through at the end, then use that. Otherwise, go for a level three or possibly a level four, depending on the number of theme words you really want. Just to remind you here, this was based on 1500 words. Let setting level one return 28 theme words for one search. Obviously that number will depend on the, the root phrase you type in. It will be different for different things. Some will return a lot more, some will return less. Setting 3 returns 72 theme words. Setting 5 returns 310 and the last setting 729. But remember as the setting increases the words that are returned will be appearing on fewer and fewer of the top 10 pages. So it's then up to you just to filter out the ones that you don't want. If you decide you don't want anything that hasn't appeared on at least 4 or at least 5 or at least 6 pages then you can do that quite easily in the one-click results page.